Need an amazing white sangria recipe for your next event or get together? Got you covered, stay tuned. What's up guys, Sam James, barprints.co and in this video, I'm gonna share with you an amazing white sangria recipe. Now, if you're new to this channel and you're looking for the best advice in all things bartending and cocktail, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down here and click the notification bell to make sure you never miss a video when it comes out. Now, quick story about me. I'm actually a very huge comic book nerd, like a nerd before it was fashionable, like a comic book nerd back in the 80s and 90s before the big budget movies and before it was cool when, you know, kids used to get beat up for it. And um, I got this recipe actually from a very dear friend of mine who is the co-host of an amazing podcast, the Jack Kirby Podcast. Shout out to you, Mike, and thanks for this recipe. And I'll put links in the description. So if you're interested in checking out the stuff that um, Mike and his associates are doing over there, definitely hit that up. But um, he's used this recipe a bunch of times. And then, of course, I tried it myself. Made a couple of tweaks, Mike. I think you'll be proud. And here we go. Let's get into it. Now, this recipe calls for the following. You're gonna go with about four grapes, two slices of Granny Smith apple, a half an ounce of lemon juice, freshly squeezed lemon juice, half ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice, an ounce of white wine, and you wanna go with a sweet white wine, like a Pinot Grigio or Riesling or something like that. My little tweak to this recipe, you're gonna go with a ounce of mint infused rum. Then you're gonna go with two ounces of ginger beer, and last but not least, about an ounce of sparkling water. Now, how do you guys prefer your sangria? Are you a big fan of the white? Are you a big fan of the red? Is it either or? Is, the, is there a clear winner? Drop it in the comments below, and if you guys really want, let me know, and I will do a video on a regular red sangria as well. Now, to do this particular recipe, all you're gonna do is grab your shaker, put everything except for the carbonated ingredients, that is the ginger beer and the sparkling water, throw that into your shaker, and then go ahead and give it a nice muddle. Um, especially because of the apples. They're really tough, so you're gonna have to um, give them a nice good muddle. That way you get all the flavors to incorporate. Then add a little bit of ice to it and give it a nice shake. Once you're done with that, go ahead and take a Collins glass or something like that, add some ice to it, and then you're gonna fine strain your cocktail into the glass. At this point, then you're gonna go ahead and add your ginger beer and your sparkling water. Now you may be saying to yourself, self, Whenever I'm making sangria, there's usually lots of nice, healthy chunks of fruit and it's served in a batch. Got you covered. All you do is use the same, same technique, throw those in a pitcher, and then instead of muddling the grapes and the apples, just go ahead and dice the apples and have the whole grapes. And you can go ahead and throw that into the pitcher. At that point, of course, because you're gonna be um, serving everything together, you would add the sparkling water and the ginger beer at the same time when you're mixing everything. Now to garnish your sangria, all you wanna do is take a nice fresh sprig of mint, go ahead and agitate it over your fingers to help release those aromas, place it in the ice behind the straw so that when they take that first sip, they really get that hit of the mint as well as the sangria itself. Everything blends together nicely and makes for an amazing first impression. You could also, if you wanna get super fancy, do a couple slices of the Granny Smith apple, fan them out, and you can place them in the glass as well when you're serving it. Of course, if you're doing the pitcher, you don't have to worry about that. Everything is gonna be in your, um, whatever receptacle you've used, and you just ladle everything out over ice, and you're pretty much good to go. And that's the white sangria recipe in a nutshell. Again, shout out to Mike and the good people at the Jack Kirby Podcast for hooking me up with this recipe. If you're looking for products to help you upgrade your bar skills, take them to the next level, go ahead and head over to barprints.co and check out what we have over there. If you haven't already, go ahead and download our Bar Prince Cheat Sheet, free PDF that breaks down everything you need to know to go from a novice bartender to a pro in under 24 hours. Finally, if you found this video helpful, and I hope you have, please give it a like and share it with your friends and family. Helps the channel out way more than you could possibly imagine. And of course, stick around and check out these videos here for more great bartending advice. Cheers, guys. See you in the next video.